In today's video, gents, I'm sharing with you my secrets on how to wear a suit in hot weather and look amazing without sweating your balls off. You ready, gents? Let's do it. So, a few years ago, I had a friend who worked as a bouncer at a bar in Vegas. Now, this was a high-end bar. They had a dress code and they expected all their male employees to wear a suit. The problem is, not only was it sweltering hot outside, but also when he went into the club, the areas that he had to work, it was incredibly hot as well and that he would just be sweating underneath. So, what he would do to make this bearable is starting at the mid-shoulder point, he would cut off the sleeve on his dress shirts. Next up, he would take his jackets, turn them inside out and rip out all of the lining. Now, in today's video, I'm not going to recommend that you go to those extremes. Instead, the tips I'm going to give you are about buying the right clothing at the outset and I'm going to give you a few hot weather hacks as well that can apply to when you're wearing a suit. So, the first thing we're going to talk about is buying the right jacket and let's talk about jacket linings. So, most jackets are fully lined. It's inexpensive and they're going to be able to hide all the inner construction in the jacket. If you were to ever open up a jacket inside, it's pretty messy. When you have a half lined or a quarter lined jacket, you in a sense need to finish the inside. It's going to be more expensive in general because it requires more handwork. Now, let's say you are stuck with getting a lined jacket. Then, in that case, you want to make sure to avoid polyester. A polyester lined jacket is very bad for hot weather. Why? It's not going to be breathable. Make sure you get something made from Bamberg. Silk, you're going to occasionally see out there on higher end jackets. I don't like it because it's not easy to replace and not easy to clean. So, this is a fully lined jacket. I love fully lined jackets because they're going to be more durable and in general, they're less expensive. Another advantage of lined jackets, you can bring in a wide variety of colors and patterns. Now, watch this. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, this is a work of art, but the issue here in hot weather, all this excess material is going to be hot. Now, this jacket right here is a half lined jacket. So, we're going to notice the back of the jacket. Notice there's no lining here. This is going to make it cooler, especially if the fabric is breathable like it is here. Unlined jackets are still going to have protection in the shoulders. Why? Because you want your arms to be able to move in and out and if you've got padding here on the shoulders, they want to protect it. Now, notice the front still has lining. Why would they put lining on the front of jackets still? This right here gives structure to your chest and they want to make sure to give this some protection because it's very difficult to make what's under here attractive. Now, this next jacket is a quarter lined canvas. We've got the open back and what we're going to notice on the front is we've got a little bit more open, usually down over here. They're still going to probably put a bit of lining right in this area because they don't basically, they want to cover up that front basically chest area. Now, I know not everyone has access to the perfect jacket. Some of you guys still have lined jackets. You're going to have to use this summer. So, what do you do? Guys, check out Thompson Tee. They're the sponsor of today's video and they have created the most amazing undershirt that basically gets rid of underarm sweat. So, here's the story. So, back in 2014, these guys got a patent for Hydro Shield sweat proof technology. What these guys created was a safe, natural way to deal with underarm sweat. It's durable. It's soft. When you wear this undershirt, you really don't even notice there's that pad there and it does exactly what it needs to do. And that's what I love about this undershirt. You can wear it discreetly. It's going to protect you from those embarrassing sweat stains and it's something that you can use again and again. Again. Gentlemen, 100% made in the USA and I love that they've got a wide variety of colors. They've got black, they've got gray, they've got beige, they've got white. They've also got a wide variety of styles. So, if you want crew neck, you want v-neck, you want a deep v-neck, they've got you covered. And these guys are the real deal. They've been on Shark Tank because this product works. What I love about this, especially when you own expensive jackets, you own expensive shirts, this is going to protect your clothing from damage. It's going to help it last longer and it's going to protect you from those embarrassing sweat stains. And of course, they stand behind their product. They've got a 100% money back guarantee. So, guys, if you don't like the product, you can send it back. I'm linking the Thompson T down in the description with the best deal you're going to find out there. Use it or lose it, guys. It's not going to be around forever. So, now let's talk about fabrics. You're going to hear Fresco. You're going to hear Tropical Weight Wool. Both of those are great options if you can find them. Tropical Weight Wool is usually going to be wool that's woven a little bit thinner, a little bit tighter and this is going to allow air to breathe through. It's lightweight. Now, when we look at cotton, you're going to see some cotton jackets out there. I like those, especially in something like Seersucker, which actually has a three-dimensional weave and it's going to be very breathable. But Seersucker is going to be a very bold pattern. You really need to know what you're doing. And now, let's talk about linen. So, I'm wearing a linen jacket. The issue with linen is it wrinkles easily. The beautiful thing about linen, basically the way that it's woven, it's going to be incredibly breathable. Air is going to flow right through linen and that's the big advantage. But in general, it's going to be a more casual fabric. 
So now let's talk about suit color. So you want to go for a lighter color during the summer. Why? Lighter colors are cooler. White, think about it. It reflects all different types of light. Black, black's absorbing all those rays. Therefore, it's going to be hotter. Dark colors in general. So navy, your charcoal gray, those are going to get hot. You want to go for white. You want to go for off white. You want to go for tan. You want to go for light gray. You want to bring in the pastels if you want to have fun with some color. But remember, lighter colors are going to rule during the summer. Now let's talk about breaking rules. So I've got the jacket buttoning rules. If you haven't seen it, here's the infographic. But basically, on a two button, you're always when standing, going to button that top one. On a three button, you're going to button the middle one, always never button the bottom. But here's the deal in hot weather, you can throw that out the window. You can unbutton your jacket when you're walking around because guess what? You want air to circulate. You don't want to have a whole lot of constriction here. You want to allow that air to cool you off. And this can apply to your sleeves as well, especially if you've got those working sleeve buttons on the jacket. You can unbutton those and you can unbutton the sleeves on your shirt. Also, don't be afraid to take that jacket off. If you're going to be traveling, if you're going to be commuting, if you're going to be sitting in your office and it's a bit hot and you simply want to cool down and you don't need to put your best foot forward, then go for it. Just put it and hang it over your chair. And another option, bring in a vest. What I like about vests is they can bring the whole look together. Of course, they're not as dressy as a jacket, but in extreme hot weather, when everyone else is peeled off their jacket, you've got that vest. You're going to stand out from the crowd. It gives you a nice, more streamlined, monochromatic look. And I think it really does a great job of accentuating the arms, building up your shoulders, and even making your chest look a little bit better. It's a great look that almost any man can pull off. And let's talk about the right shirt. This shirt right here is linen. Now, it's linen in a darker color. It's going to do a pretty good job of hiding the wrinkles. Another thing, when you wear linen under the jacket, even if it gets wrinkles here, no one's going to see it when you keep on the jacket. Now, 100% cotton shirts are great, but pay attention to the weight. You want something that's lightweight and breathable. Look for maybe a gauze weave. Look for something that light is going to be able to easily pass through. Now, linen cotton combinations, I like these as well. They're a little bit harder to find and I think that you get a little bit of the best of both worlds. The breathability of linen with a lot of the, you know, just simply the drape of cotton. Another option, performance materials. I've talked about a number of companies that have this, but what I love about performance materials is this stuff is just made to be breathable. It's made to wick away the moisture and again, it's going to keep you cool under that jacket. Another option for your shirt, consider wearing a short sleeve polo. It's going to be cooler, it's going to be breathable, and it's still going to look pretty darn good. Next up, let's talk about fit. So, in general, you want your clothing to fit a little bit looser during the summer. So, you want maybe to get that jacket opened up. You want to maybe wear a little bit looser of a shirt. You want especially your trousers to be a little bit looser in, in and around the crotch area, in and around the hips. You don't want any hot spots. Speaking about trousers, let's go ahead and let's look at the break. So, most guys, I think in general, are going for about a quarter break to a half break. But, I'm going to recommend during the summer to go for no break. An option here on your suit trousers, you may want to actually roll them. You want to be careful. This is going to be a very casual look. You could actually get them rehemmed. That's going to be a bit more professional, but going for no break is going to allow air to circulate closer down there to the bottom of the leg. And that leads us to talking about footwear. An option right here, perhaps the perfect summer shoe is the loafer. What I like about the loafer is that this is overall casual light, but it still is going to work with a suit. But there's a wide variety of different loafers out there. In general though, loafers are going to slip on and off the foot and they are going to be cooler because they're just a lighter weight shoe. But let's say you want to bring in something a bit dressier. Then go in for a darker color, but you can still make it very cool. Notice right here, I don't know if you see, it's a perforated leather. So, it's going to have small holes. It's also got the horse bit design right here. This is going to be a fun, still casual loafer. And then you've got other options. If you wanted to go more casual, you can bring in suede. Don't forget about the Belgian loafer. Again, getting a little bit dressier, but notice right here, I've got shoe trees. So, I would recommend you rotate through your loafers. Why? Your feet are going to be sweating and you want to make sure not to wear the same loafers again and again. Otherwise, they're going to go into an odd shape and leverage shoe trees. They're going to help pull out the moisture and they're going to help the loafer retain its shape. And another quick hack, no show socks. Learn to love them. I think they work great. They help protect your shoes and they're going to keep your feet a lot cooler during the summer. Feet cool, your whole body is going to feel cooler. Next up, bring back the hat. A nice, classic, Panama. This right here is you're carrying around your own personal shade. And when it's hot outside, when it's sunny, you're going to be out in the elements. You 
want to have something like this. You're going to also going to be able to set yourself apart from all the other guys out there who you're going to start to realize, wow, why aren't they carrying around their own shade, basically knocking 10 degrees off the temperature. And now let's talk about what you're putting into your body. Believe it or not, some foods are going to make you cooler. Some foods are going to make you even more hot. So things that are going to make you cooler, drinking water, eating watermelon, and leafy greens. So what's going to make you hot? Apparently foods that have a lot of fat, carbohydrates, or protein. When your body is digesting this, it's going to actually raise your temperature. So there were a lot of items on the list I saw, but the ones that stood out to me, ice cream, that was I thought surprising, beer, and apparently brown rice. I'm not really worried about brown rice, but I know a lot of you guys like to drink a beer, but beware, it could actually make you hotter. Now, one hack that most guys know about is to take a cool shower. Yeah, that makes sense. But have you ever heard of using menthol soap? Basically a soap maybe with menthol, with spearmint, with peppermint. When you use this soap, what it does is it really cools off your skin. I've used this stuff before and I've come out of the shower shivering on a hot day. And that right there sets the tone. You feel so much better. You put it on your clothing, even though when you go out in the hot weather, at least for an hour, you're feeling still pretty good before it starts to affect you. So what video to watch next? Well, check out this video right here, the perfect summer shoe. Can you guess what it is? Guys, I talk about loafers, the different styles, the different options, and how to bring them into your summer wardrobe.